This tutorial will show some of the valuable tools SAP 2000 offers when designing pre-stressed concrete box bridges. Bridge design requires a license for the BRIM module. The bridge we will review will be a three-cell, flat-sided box girder 36 feet wide. It will have two 100-foot long spans with a depth that varies as a parabola from 5 feet at the ends to 10 feet at the center. The deck is modeled with area objects, although the design procedure in this tutorial is also applicable to bridges modeled as spines or solids. Pre-stressing tendons are located in the girders of the box section. And it will support two lanes of traffic, each 14 feet wide. Next, we will review the tendons by going to the brim menu and selecting the bridge objects command. Our bridge is completely defined in one object. On this form, select the pre-stressed tendons item and click the modify show button. We have a total of four tendons, one in each girder. Select any tendon as they are all the same and click the modify show button. Each tendon has a force of 600 kips. Click the Show All Tendons button, and we see that at the bridge end, the tendons are located near mid-depth. As we scroll, the tendons move in the deck depth, and at mid-span are near the top, returning to mid-depth at the other end. Now, go to the Define Load Cases to review the load cases. For this model, we have three, dead, pre-stress, and a moving or live load. Our moving load uses an HS20-44 truck load. We can now run the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, we can now focus on the bridge design. We start by going to the Design menu, and under Bridge Design, selecting Preferences. Here we can select the code, and we will use Ashto LRFD 2007. Next, we go to the Define Load Combinations command. 